I'm meteorologist Carl Bonac. Welcome to Upper Michigan Source Weather on Demand. This is for July the 23rd when the high reached 66, the low 51. You can see it was a cooler than average day, over 7 degrees below the long term average. And uh, with that 66 and 51, we're back into the cool side. Our uh, average high 73, the average low 53 through the 23rd. That puts us just about three degrees below the long term average. And we've cooled off because instead of a west southwest flow aloft, the flow has become northwest while a big ridge is starting to pump up over uh, Canada. We've got a new system, a new upper air low that will come into the Pacific Northwest, cool them off, maybe give them a few showers. That low will move through south central Canada under this building ridge and then head toward us. In fact, this is the way it looks Saturday. The flow aloft becomes westerly, so we warm up temporarily. But then as the ridge builds behind this low, the low digs into the Great Lakes and that will usher in some much cooler air by late in the weekend. Also a chance of some rain. In the meantime, though, we're looking at a cool night. Early Thursday morning, low temperatures will mainly be in the 40s. Some of the coolest spots down around 40, if not the upper 30s, especially over some of the coldest spots in the western and central interior. Then on Thursday, high pressure will dominate a large area of high pressure that will drift slowly to the east. That means a beautiful UP summer day, light winds, dry air. Temperatures will recover nicely after that cool start. We'll get to close to 70 along the Lake Superior shore, around 70 near Lake Michigan, and then well into the 70s at inland points. Places like Iron Mountain will likely reach the upper 70s. Then on Friday, we're expecting a low pressure to organize out to the west and edge a bit closer. That means an increase in clouds. The heaviest rains will likely stay to our west and southwest, but there's a chance that a shower could sneak into the uh, western part of the upper peninsula before the day is out. Then on Saturday, the initial front from the system moves in, and there's a chance of a shower or a thunderstorm at almost any location. I think most areas will be rain free most of the time. Right now it looks like the heaviest thunderstorms down to the south, closer to the warm and humid air in Wisconsin. Also up around this low, this low will dive into the Great Lakes and that means uh, Sunday could be a rainy day with much cooler conditions. In fact, your TV six day forecast, we're saying highs in the 60s on Sunday, but as winds pick up out of the north, there's a chance that especially near Lake Superior, temperatures could fall during the course of the day and then a cool start to early next week.